Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Edward. Uh, this time this kit comes as a weekend edition in 148 scale. Uh, of course it's an aircraft kit and as you can see it copies 100 HD2 so it's aircraft with those floats. And now we have a chance to replicate it in a simple edition so it means there are no P parts, no masks and only two marking options included into this kit. And this is a commercial sample, so it means you will get exactly the same kit if you order it from official Edward website. And now we have a chance to open it and take a look inside. So first of all, packaging style is typical for this series. It's a blue colored box with both marking options on the box art. Then here on the side we have some information about the kit. There is nothing special I would say, so it's made in Czech Republic of course. And here you can see the kit number. And from the other side we can see both marking options and also a small let's say, description what those options copy. And here we have small paint chart um, so that you know which colors you need for this build. This is a top opening box and here is what we have inside. So as you can see there are not that many ports but I mean this is a World War One aircraft in 148 scale so I guess it might be understandable why there is not that many parts inside. Nevertheless let's open them and take a look at all the sprues which are included here. So everything packed into the receivable plastic bag and meanwhile let me remind you that you can support us by pressing the donate button on our website. It is quite easy and safe because it's done via PayPal and of course you will decide how much we'll get from you so be sure that all this money will be used for new photo and video equipment and also for new kits for the video and photo reviews so here we have first uh, one single clear port let me focus the camera i will show it like this so here you can see it Obviously this is a windscreen, as you can see it is modded as a one piece part and molding quality is quite nice but there is um, no mask sheet because it's a weekend edition kit so that's why be sure for this um, to have some let's say masking tape or maybe to buy some aftermarket set. As far as I remember Edward usually releases weekend edition kits with mask sets sold separately so in case you don't want to waste your time cutting off masks you can get it from official Edward website as well here you can see first gray plastic sprue this one is dedicated to two fuselage halves also one of the wings cooling port of course cockpit ports propeller winding gear system and some other external and internal elements now let's zoom in and check everything closer
So as you might have noticed, there is a minor cockpit detailing in this cockpit house. It will be detailed even more with help of uh, separately molded parts. And as far as you can see, there are no guiding elements whatsoever inside this fuselage house. So be ready to carefully align these elements together. Otherwise, it will be, of course, uh, in a wrong and noticeable position. And here we have the next sprue or I would say interconnection between sprues because as you can see obviously we have here two separate sprues which are connected together with this step. So first of all we have here another wing and also we have tail wing ports, landing gear wheels, engine you know, floats and also the wing struts. So now let's zoom in and check those parts closer. So again, molding quality looks quite good, even though this kit is not new, this plastic, I mean. The kit release is fresh, but plastic is not. And if you do not believe me, just go to Scalemates and check the kit history. Nevertheless, we have the guiding elements for at least four floats. So you have the spins in the end and in the um, front side. And overall, molding quality still is surprisingly good. So I guess professionals will be able to get something nice out of those parts. Next we have a small plastic bag with decals. So just give me a second to open it. Of course the decals sheet is not that big because there are two marking options. And this is a World War I airplane in 148 scale. So that's why all symbols are here. As you can see, decal sheet comes from Edward. This is a new printing, as you can see here, 2019. And also we have the seat belts decals and the dials decals here. So I guess cockpit should look more or less okay for out of the box version. And if you would like to have more, you will have to get some PE upgrade for your kit. And next we have another important component of this kit. Here it is. It's assembly manual, which is printed in form of this small brochure. As you can see, we have parts map. And note that some parts won't be used. Obviously, landing gear wheels won't be used because we have a float plane. Uh, we have safety advices as well here. And also the symbols, signs, um, so that you understand what you have to do here or there. Next, we start everything with cockpit. And as you can see, you have to assemble these pedals on the floor. Then you install all this stuff into the right fuselage half. Um, dashboard is here. Uh, pilot seat. Then we continue with installation of the control cone. Join fuselage halves together. Install cooling ports. And as you remember, engine was not that much detailed. But it's a 148 scale World War I aircraft. Once again, I will repeat it because, I mean, so that you understand the real size of these parts. Even in 130 second scale, these models are not that big. In 148, they're even smaller. Here we have different tail parts, and note that they vary uh, depending on the marking. So be sure to choose the right tail part. Next, we continue with this uh, special 
stand for machine guns. Here we assemble machine guns. As you remember, machine guns were not that much detailed, but that means for such size and for out of the box build, such detailing should be more or less fine. Here we continue with installation of the top wing and wing struts uh, and also float planes together with the special struts or holders, let's say. Um, then we continue with struts for the tail wing and again there will be two different versions because of the separate um, or different types of the tail fin. And of course don't forget to do some rigging. And next or the final step is rigging on the wings and between the landing gear system, so it will be quite a fun time, be ready for this. Here we have the first marking option, it comes from Dunkirk, uh, France 1917, and then we have another one, again from the same country and the same region, but this one comes from Spring 1918, and as you can see it's slightly more colorful than what we have here, but it will be up to you which one you choose to copy, in my opinion both are quite nice and they should make a nice build once you copy them in a 148 scale. So for this kit, as I said, it should be already uh, available for purchase. And I mentioned that the plastic itself is not completely fresh, so keep it in mind and be ready to work with some, let's say, uh, minor things. But in my opinion, there are no analogs in 148 scale and this kit will help you to copy quite unusual modification with float planes and maybe you can even find some aftermarket from Edward itself. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit, write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual, bye.